like uh, Emmanuel. <coughs> Emmanuel, talk talk us through what you guys worked on between Monday night and tonight. Uh, last time I was here, I was talking about how our back was against the corner, and it could either traject us to go in a positive direction, or we could fall from there. And I think our response from tonight was amazing. Uh, Jacoby Coles stepped up big time. This time last year, uh, Jacoby wasn't playing as much minutes, but you can see the work he's put in this summer. You can see the effort he brings to the team and the energy he brings to the team. And right to my left, Michael Peavy the same way. And I can say that from 1 to 18, even the walk-ons only got it. One of the walk-ons I've been on the floor, I think, we're starting to show what TCU basketball is all about. And, and I'm just so happy at our response. Michael, for you guys defensively, I guess, what, what was clicking for you? And for you in particular, it seems like you, you were all over the court. Uh, first, I'm going to piggyback off him. Coaches challenged us. Uh, they were talking about how our defense wasn't um, like it was last year. So I think we took that personal, and we showed that today by just diving on the floors, like he said, um, getting a charge, our first charge of the season. Um, yeah, that's why like, we just wanted to work hard and show that what TCU can be. <coughs> Jacoby, career high 15 points for you tonight. And as a team, you got shot 50% from three point range. Was that a point of emphasis too this week? Just kind of clearing your head and, and getting back to, to shooting well from three? Yeah, I think the biggest thing was, uh, you know, guys kept getting in the gym this week um, after, you know, it was such a bad shooting night um, on a Tuesday. And uh, it was important for us just to continue to get shots up, continue to trust in our offense. And I think it worked out today. And, you know, the intensity we had on defense, you know, played a big role in why our offense was so good today. So I think everything tied together well. Uh, uh, Emmanuel, the, the ball movement. There was one mm -hmm. sequence, I think PJ passed it to Eddie, who gave it to like Hade, mm -hmm. and they got it back, and it led to like a three for mm -hmm. you. I guess, how satisfied were you guys with the ball movement? Just how much do you think you got to improve? I think from this game, uh, looking at the previous games, our ball movement was amazing. Uh, we struggled the past few games uh, coming out with intensity. And I think with this game, we knew from the jump that uh, we had to show everyone what TCU is about. And not only just to the fans, but like to ourselves. And I think the first 10 minutes, we did a great job of passing the ball, moving without the ball, and just running in transition and getting defensive stops. And I think that's what led to the score uh, being what it was, just because of our intensity from the jump. Why did you guys have intensity? Um, I just know we changed it. We changed it for the better. You guys are 21, 22. That's why. Mm -hmm. Stuff happens. Sure. Looks like last, oh, on the last game, you talked about how you would have preferred you all to get the ball to the paint. Mm -hmm. So when it touches the paint, you can pick it up. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. yeah, I think we did a great job of playing inside out. Uh, our big man, uh, we got a lot of post speed, not only with our big, but with our guards, uh, through our actions and through our motion. I think we did a great job of getting inside out. And I think that's what led to us shooting a better three-point percentage. I remember last time we talked about uh, our struggles from shooting, and I told y'all uh, we have complete confidence in our shooting ability just because of the work we put in. So I know no matter what's going on, we're going to continue to shoot. Uh, a lot of guys stepped up today, hit some big time shots, and that inside out, it really helped. Second straight game without Mike, and Damian hasn't been on the court yet this mm -hmm. year. You guys feel like some guys are stepping up into larger roles without without them on the court? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, Mike and DB, uh, one of the uh, one of the one of the two two key players on this team. Uh, they contribute to a lot. They can do a lot of different things that help this team to win it. But I think a lot of guys, especially Jacoby, I got to credit Jacoby just because uh, he stepped up big time, man. Uh, career high tonight, and and he's gonna do more. So, so yeah. Any other questions? Uh, Jacoby, like, how was it out there? Like, as you were scoring, like, did you feel like you was in the groove, or was it just like in the moment? Uh, yeah, I definitely think uh, you know when I first went out there, I thought my. Um, Honestly, my first three didn't really feel that good, but it went in, so I just think it was, uh, you know, I think from there, I just felt like I was going to have a pretty good game with this, you know, with Beal. Um, but, you know, just from <clears throat> battling this summer against these guys, you know, we, we all had great days, and um, it was all about just playing in your rhythm, and I felt like I was just more in my rhythm today, um, especially with the last couple games. I feel like the first couple games, I was a little hesitant. Um, and so for me, with my game, you know, I'm not a very fast player, but, you know, I like to play at my pace and play at my speed, and, 
it helps me out. And once I'm comfortable, I think, you know, a lot of good things can happen. And, and you know, this happened tonight, so it was a good thing. And I was happy, but uh, more happy about the win, though. Micah, you look more confident on offense this year. Is that something that you worked on intentionally this summer to, to get stronger on that side of the court? Yeah, that was a big emphasis. Uh, I think that's what held me back last year on the offense end. So um, these guys helped me out, telling me to shoot the ball every time. I mean, I've shot the ball more this year, uh, as y'all can see. But yeah, I'm just ready for it to go in. Free throws look good. Appreciate it. Yeah. You knocked them all down. We shoot for confidence. We we'll shoot for free throws, 17 for 19. That's got to be that's got to be the best we shot. Yeah. Free throws, nine on one. Facts. We were just having fun. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you.